in our previous uh, video, I ended with uh, putting the exterior walls, uh, the structural walls on the outside of the building, and then uh, starting by just putting a single uh, interior walls and then so that I would go offline and, and kind of lay out the rest of it. So as you can see, I went ahead and laid out uh, more interior walls, uh, one hour, you know, metal stud, jet board on both sides. Here I laid out two around. I, I want you to look at my original uh, concept here. Okay. And you'll notice I oversized the restrooms conceptually in relationship to the break room. Uh, and as we can see, it, there's no way that that's the same size. So it's given us a lot more room here that we need to work with um, or that we can work with. The, so I, I went back and, and just sketched some more. And I really encourage people to, to sketch your ideas out. Um, quick diagrams to think about what you, you – this is very hard to do in CAD. And so, you know, sit down, sketch it out. It's just like on this reception area, you know, I want a desk here for the receptionist. I want the receptionist to have a little bit of control. So I want the, the entrance into these offices not in the front up here of the reception area, but in the back so that she has at least some control. She'd probably have a buzzer so she could buzz people in or or maybe it's locked and, and only the uh, people can come out and get their uh, customers or whatever. Um, and then some a little seating area here, a little seating area here. And once again, I'll, I'll have to see whether or not I really have the room to, to do that. Uh, in a minute. I, I should, I think I should, but anyway. Uh, the other thing is I decided there, there shouldn't be really a hallway or anything here. Uh, I'm just going to bump this conference room up against the back of this, make it a soundproof. Uh, you know, this squiggly line stuff just means that I, I perceive these as being solid walls, not uh, glass walls. Um, and so then I've got to divide these up into three offices and our break room and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm just going to show you some techniques of how I would do that. I, I went ahead and pulled all my blocks uh, into within the uh, boundary of the of the exterior walls so I get a better feel. As you can see, this one doesn't fit at all. If I pull it in here, it's going it, to, once again, we, we're losing about 16 inches of it, uh, and I'm not sure we have that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I, I went ahead and put walls in here. I'm going to use the technique that's uh, kind of cool. I'm going to turn masses off because now they're no longer helping me. They're just getting in my way. OK, so I'm, there's a couple ways to do that. One is just select ma a mass, see if I can get a hold of one. I think that may be one right there. And then go in here and uh, hide in view by category, which would be uh, masses. Uh, I don't have any other masses I need, so that's going to work. And now I'm just back down to my walls now. Uh, now this will work a lot, a lot easier. I'm going to uh, just real quickly. Once again, hit the tab key to grab that interior wall. Now center, 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 and tab tab key to grab that. Okay, now much better. And you can see this room is just way too small. I'm going to hit equal. And that's going to equal all that out. I can unequal it, and then I can get an idea about what the dimension is. So 11 foot 10 inches, you know, for all practical purposes, uh, to the center of the wall. Of course, that, you know, that's minus what for a four dish four additional inch, inches so it's about 11 foot six inches um, but that'll work that'll be okay uh, the other thing is is I want at least a four foot uh, hallway in here I really need at least a four foot hallway uh, uh, I'm, and so I'm going to let's do this real quick we can do the same thing over here. But uh, so I'm going to a couple of ways I can use this. Uh, so now I've got all those even spaces. And, and as I put things in there, I'll have to see whether or not that's going to really work that well. I want at least a four foot. Normally I would shoot for an interior and not center to center in this case. We really need a full four feet in here. Uh, I would prefer in commercial buildings to have five feet and I usually shoot for that. But this small office building, we can probably, uh, we can we can make it work with uh, four feet. 
uh, we, we may have to make this this hallway wider. If you remember, my concept was that this would be the entry from the parking back here, and we wouldn't have uh, but one entry, uh, which makes sense. There's no reason to have two exterior doors, and the one next to the break room is probably the more. The, there's a lot of different ways you could go here. You could say, well, we're going to put two doors in here, so we, or have this be a dead end, uh, enter our restrooms in this way. Uh, once again, this is we need to widen this because uh, I need seven foot six inches on the interior. So here I'm going to, you know, put some dimensions in uh, so that I can make sure that I keep those dimensions. Um, I need a wall that's that's in between here. And so let's uh, but it needs to be a full wall. So I'm just kind of going through how I use this to kind of conceptually take the, the, the design to, a, the, to this kind of next level of where there's true, uh, you know, and I, I'll, I'll stop here in a minute. And you, once you, I feel like you kind of got the idea of what's happening here. Um, you know, I don't, I don't need this wall. So I'm going to, uh, I can, I can break the wall. Uh, and there, and then there's a couple of ways you can do that. One is you could do a T, right? Oops, wrong way. Cancel. Uh, T to this. Okay. Did it do it? Yeah, it did. Uh, T to this. And then let's just. We should be able to delete that piece because we really don't need it. Um, so there's a couple of decisions I'm going to make here. First of all, I'm going to put in a, an interior wall there. Uh, a plumbing wall right here. I'm assuming my plumbing is going to be on. And you'll notice, I'll, I'll see if I can, I think I have it here. I don't. Oh, there it is. Let's open this up. Th this is a little, uh, whoops. Can't really zoom in on that. I don't know why, but this is a, a typical minimal uh, ADA bathroom. You know, I just found it out on the internet. Uh, that that tells me kind of you know the minimum that I can do. I got to have this interior space too. Okay, and some of it like 32 inch door, that that kind of stuff. Uh, let's zoom in here. Okay, so as you can see. Uh, interiorly, this has to be, I can't get this to scroll. There we go. Um, has to be seven, six inches, seven foot, six inches, uh, inside to inside to, to meet code. So, you know, I'm going to take this as my generic layout. Uh, I could attempt to redesign it, but, uh, I'm not going to, uh, at this stage. I, I really want to do the minimum or put the minimum space in into this. So once again, um, let's put a wall in here, architecture wall. Uh, I want a plumbing wall. Let's cancel that. Uh, I don't think there's a plumbing wall in here. So I'm going to just, uh, uh, these are all, uh, there's not really a plumbing wall in here. So I'm just going to create a, a, a partition. I'll take one of these partition walls. And we'll edit type. And I'm going to re-duplicate it this time. Uh, interior. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm just going to say six inch plumbing wall. Though that's the nominal. That's not the uh, actual dimension. I'm going to call it a six inch plumbing wall. I'm going to come in here, and this is going to be metal stud, but instead of uh, one and five eighths, this is going to be uh, five and five eighths. And then uh, gypsum board, uh, we just need, we don't need that, and we don't need this quarter inch here. Okay, and so that's a pretty standard plumbing wall, right? Uh, say okay to that and then okay to that 
And so I'm going to draw me a plumbing wall in here. And, and let's put another dimension in here. Once again, I'm interested in the interior to interior dimension here. Notice it's seven foot three now, and that's not going to be acceptable because uh, I'm not going to be able to meet my ADA requirements, and that's seven foot one. Okay. Um, so now, once again, I'm not going to move it this way. Uh, I'm going to put a dimension here. And that's three foot ten. I really want that to be at least a minimum of four feet, and I would say five feet, especially this exit. Um, so I'm going to make it five feet. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to just select that wall, and then you can see uh, it's going to center to center. Oops. Uh, what I can do is make it. By clicking on these, I, I moved it over. And so that's three foot ten inches. I'm going to say five feet here. Okay. Now, of course, this is, whoops. So, so that's, that's good, right? Uh, I could lock that dimension even. The other is just to move these walls over. Okay. So I'm going to move this one here uh, once again. It's important that it be to the interior. So I'm going to make this um, seven foot six inches. And then I'm going to move this one over. Actually, I'm going to delete that one. And I'm just going to move this to here. Okay. And let's throw a dimension in there and see what that is. And then I can make a decision, a couple of decisions of whether I want to put that space that's left over into I'm hitting the tab key to grab that and the tab key to grab that and of course that's way more than I need um, so I could I could break this uh, I could go back in here and uh, but this really all this needs to be is seven foot six inches so I won't worry about that right now I'll come back uh, so now let's uh, go through and I'll, I'll show you a couple more kind of modeling uh, techniques as far as, you know, working on the plans. And um, so let's uh, let's see here. Uh, what do we want to deal with next? Uh, first of all, I need to get four feet in here. OK, and so what I'm going to do is you'll notice I put some dimensions in right here. Uh, notice where I put them. I made sure the dimension I'm dealing with is the interior because this needs to be at least four feet here uh, as a minimum. The other thing I want as a minimum is is this area right in front of the uh, restrooms. I've decided that I'm going to enter the restrooms from this direction. So I'm going to to do that uh, and make that that hallway five feet there. Uh, though I think I can keep this one down to four and still meet code and 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 have enough room. Uh, so let's let's do that real quick and then see what we come up with. Notice I put a dimension from here to here to here to here to here to here so that when I move this wall here, okay, uh, I'm going to move it, make that four feet. Okay. Uh, so now. I don't know why that says three foot. Oh, yeah, that was the wrong. That should have been four feet. Okay. Now, so four feet outside edge. I don't under. Oh, once again, this is on the wrong. It was the center. Okay, so now my dimension reads four feet here. That's what I want. Let's do the same thing here again. Uh, I should be able to just change this dimension. And let's see, four feet works right there. Yeah, that, that worked. I grabbed the right dimension that time. 
So I'm going to accept that. So now I've only got 14 feet here. So in my conference room, once again, I need to check out. Uh, I may not, if I need that additional square footage, then this definitely, well, it's going to move anyway uh, when I make this five feet. So once again, I'm going to come in here, throw some dimensions in again. It wants me to save. Kind of a long save there. Uh, I'm going to hit the tab key again. I want that dimension from here to here. Right? It's 12 something right now. Uh, let's move this wall. And I want to move it five feet to five feet right there. Okay, so now that's five feet. This is huge now. And I'm going to show you in the next video how to create a. Uh, uh, a room schedule so that you'll know what the square footage of these are and you can compare it against what you originally wanted. Okay, so uh, once again, I think I'm just going to place with some dimensions here. And I'm more interested in the uh, interior dimensions than I am. Okay, so, you know, originally this was 12 by 16, I think. Um, so let's make this dimension. I'm going to modify here and make this dimension uh, 16 feet. Now my conference room is a little bigger than it originally was. Um, and my lobby is definitely, and then, you know, you, you just make design decisions. I mean, uh, remember that the aesthetic that I was trying to kind of achieve here, if I can get the right photo, well, there we go, uh, is kind of this inset feel on that entrance with a glass wall behind it and then the solid stone uh, on each side. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try to do here. Okay. Uh, in the, go ahead and down those, is uh, make this an inset back. Okay. So, um, and a bridge over. And I'll go into that in the next. Uh, yeah, let's just do that in the next video.